hello guys welcome back to my channel this is shades of my day it's been a while since i actually uploaded the video and i must say i'm really sorry for that so i would be uploading videos consistently now so these are my videos are the files that i need to send this week so all these four files will be on my page this week so by sunday you should should see all these videos and they are free psds so let's start by breaking this down first so you know as i usually do you know my videos you know i would create something and you know show you how i do it and drop the p the free psd so let's start with this first i created a new page by pressing ctrl n on my keyboard I use the page size 1080 by 1350 so you can see let me bring this up let me go down so let me bring this image ctrl C and um, ctrl V to paste so now I uh, let me remove all this um, um, adjustments and show you how the image is this is the image that i got online so i decided to add my own style to it by first using the gaussian blur and the topaz lab adjustment layer so from your keyboard from your screen you can see that i have the filter the blur and the gaussian blur right here so if you, you can click on this on this cushion blow you will get effects you get the effect and you can change choose any any style any, any style or or um or degree you want so let me turn off this cushion blow and show you that sorry i used 8.2 as my radius now i i i am seeing that my image is not really that bright so i i usually use a plugin called topaz lab adjustment layer can search on youtube it, it you it will you will get you get them um, the site i got it from it's actually in a link in the video on youtube so you come to topaz lab you, you will install it and come here and click on this i use the topaz adjust four let me turn this on it will brighten my image so if you see my videos you can see my thumbnail also that is very very sharp and and clean i use topaz adjustment layer for my design so let me go to the next one the next one here is um sorry comment is taking a while to load i think i've opened too many tabs on my on my laptop oh sorry i tried it with different images you know to before i got my final result you can you can see this image also blends well with it so you can decide to use different images for the design you know it will it will go well let me turn this off and turn this on turn this back on so let me copy this this image here copy my image bring it down here and paste it ctrl v to paste as you can see it's a clear image why i use topaz adjustment for you can see normally it's a normal png file but once i click my topaz layer it brightens my image it sharpens my my defect it makes it makes it more clear that's that's the settings on which, on which i i placed it then for this what i did here was to create a, a, a layer using the gradient tool let me show you how, how, how i got it you click on new layer here come to your gradient tool right here you can easily swipe like this you can swipe anywhere you want you can decide to also change the color to your preference you can decide to you come here and use color color overlay you know just just play around the colors that you want in you know, different colors you want you can play around it it's, it's also very very uh, possible let me let me turn this off so now let's let me i make adjustment to this by clicking my layer mask here i press b on my keyboard to brush 
with my foreground color set to you know set to black i gently tap this so it won't really affect the face the face will be really bright and shining just to walk around it you know just to tap around it then v to move so what i did next was to bring in my my text okay sorry this particular layers you know when you have background layers you have different types of of layers you know the one that 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 would make your your designs shine bright it's, instead of using a brush like it's, instead of using something like this let me create a new layer instead of using something like this create a new layer b b instead of using something like this you know let me change the, the color to to let's see yellow or orange so we something like this then change blend to to soft light or linear dodge as you can see this is also bright we've decided to be using i've started to be using sorry Z, sorry so i can now instead of this get this image online let me change the blend mode back to normal you can see it's looking kind of bad here change the blend mode to screen to give you that sharp bright bright color so i i did that and, and i grouped the image together and i reduced the opacity of the image let me control c and as usual control v you can see it's getting bright already and, and it's blending blending well already so you can bring my text my text here you know my text here you know different ways you can walk around it it's, it is your design it, it is your choice so you can actually walk around all these styles sorry it's taking a while to load yes something like this you can play around it play around the text you can create your own it's 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 so easy yeah it's so easy now for this text this is a ps a 3d psd i got online got online so i have dropped the psd you can see the text is here i've dropped the, the psd and the file itself so you, all you need to do is just to edit these texts you know this text edit the text and walk around it you know and make it make it your own you can also work on this too so you can watch the video for the um, password so please do well to subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos thank you